I will be Sam being Liam. <laughs> Fuck you, Talison. <sighs> okay. Fuck you, Talison. Fuck Talison Jaffe. I hate Talison Jaffe. Hello, and welcome to Narrative Telephone. For the uninitiated, here's how the game works. Our storyteller of choice will be starting us off by recording a short story. They will then send off that video to the next person who will only be able to watch it once. That person must then record themselves recounting that story to the best of their memory before sending their version off to the next person, and so on and so forth until everyone is gone. The final retelling is sure to be... Well, you'll see how it goes. Caduceus Clay here. I'm going to tell you a story about my siblings and a particularly spooky encounter they experienced. Clarabelle, Colin, and Calliope Clay were carting the cadaver of a cleric of Corallon named Christoph Kazmar through the Savalier Wood towards its resting place within the Blooming Grove Cemetery. As the clays made their way beneath the canopy of crooked conifers, they couldn't shake the feeling that they were being watched. Calliope halted the cart and confidently called out, Whoever follows us in these woods, show yourself. For Melora help you, I will defend this cleric charge to my care. From the trees, a whispered voice called out, Help. Calliope, whose caution was certainly lacking, sprung into action, carelessly leaving her kin to guard their cargo. Minutes passed with no sign of Calliope, making Colin and Clarabelle nervous. Colin, who had seen his fair share of creepiness in his chosen occupation, immediately thought of the cleric in the cart, for Colin knew Corallon the Arkhart was known to these woods and could be calling to their own cleric's cold cadaver. Colin bellowed, Arkhart, give me a sign so that I may be of service to you. A ghostly voice then called back, Be of service. Colin dashed towards the woods, leaving Clarabelle alone with the corpse in her care. Clarabelle carefully considered the curious call. Being the cleverest of all the clays, she contrived a game to confirm her theory. Strange voice, she said, are you near or far? Near, called the whisper. Are you before me or behind me? Before. Clarabelle walked cautiously into the woods. Am I cold or warm? After a brief stroll into the tree line, she heard, warm. Beneath her feet were the ancient bones of a kinku. Clarabelle called out to Colin and Calliope, with the ghostly echo adding to her cattle wall. Calliope asked, how did you find them? Clarabelle explained, Calliope, you only listen for danger. Colin, you listen for a sign. I simply heard someone who was lost. The three clays considered the Kenku corpse, causing it to bloom, which in turn released its spirit. And that spirit still wanders the forest, playfully copying the cries of nervous travelers who stray too deep into the Savalier Wood. <laughs> Caduceus Clay here to tell you a spooky tale about the th three of my siblings, Calliope, Colin, and Clarabelle Clay. <laughs> the Clays were carting the corpse of a cleric named Arkhart, seeking to place him at rest deep in the heart of the blooming grove. As they wandered through the grove, cleverly cascading through the canopy, uh, they heard a voice in the woods. Clarabelle. The second person is supposed to be good. I'm being really bad. Calliope heard a voice calling. Come. And she heard, 
she was on edge. Oh, she's low power mode. Oh God, she went into the woods and chased it down looking for the source. And she was gone for a while. And Colin then stepped up and he said, we're carting this cleric our cart through the woods. Perhaps it's the cleric's fucking it's the cleric's <laughs> Perhaps it's people that knew him. And so he went and he was like, send me a sign, oh followers of our cart. And they said Come, and so he ran into the woods. And Clarabel stayed by the cart for a while and the cleverest of the three, she thought, I will try to figure out something better than what my siblings have done. And she called out to the voice, are you there, voice? And the voice said, yep. And she's like, okay. And she walked towards the edge of the trees and said, am I, are you before me or after? And the voice said, before. So she kept walking forward. And as she got closer, she said, is am I warmer or colder? And the voice said, warmer. And she kept wandering, following this call until she came across the corpse of a Kenku. And she called out to her siblings, I have found the source of the voice. And her siblings came and they uh, communed with the corpse and set it free. And her siblings were like, how did you, <laughs> I was clay, I was Caduceus at one point in this story. Her, si her siblings were like, how did you, know what to do and she was like Calliope you only heard danger and Colin you only heard a sign but I only heard the voice of someone who was lost and so they released the spirit of the Kenku who still roams the woods and calls out and plays games with weary travelers who wander into the Savalier Woods. I'm Caduceus Clay, and I'm here to tell you a spooky story about the three... <sighs> Lord, this was a rambling mess. Uh, uh, the three Clay siblings. Uh, uh, Calliope, uh, Colin, and... Clarabelle, and they were, um, one day, let's do this some more, they were, uh, bringing a corpse of a cleric named Arkhart through the woods, and, uh, <laughs> you should have panicked, this is, what is this? Uh, they were bringing their, uh, th this cleric through the woods, and, uh, as they were traveling, um, they heard, uh, a voice that said, ps, ps, hello, I don't remember what it said, uh, and the siblings said, what is, it? what is that? And, um, uh, shit, this is just Liam, this is me blanking. Um, first, uh, Clarabelle said, who is that? And, uh, 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 it was worse. Uh, this number two is supposed to be the easy one, said Laura, and number three should be have an approximation of semblance to, to reality, said Liam, now. Um, and, uh, they went racing off to the, into the woods, and, uh, and they said, can you hear me? I think they did it one at a time, but it's all just a blur, because I don't know what the story was. Um... And, uh, uh, so, uh, Clarabelle was, uh, no, Calliope was gone. She ran off into the woods. 
And also Colin was gone, and I know there are details that I just threw out, but they're gone. And Clarabelle, who was the wisest of the three, uh, stayed by the cart. Uh, at one point I was Caduceus Clay. And not anymore, so no one's gonna be Caduceus Clay anymore at the halfway point. And um, and Clarabelle was the was the wisest of the three, so she stayed by the cart. <laughs> And, um, sa- and called out to the voice and said, Can you hear me, voice? And the voice said, Yes. So uh, Clarabelle went off in search of the voice and said, Are you uh, before me or after me? And the voice said, I don't know, after. Uh, and she continued to look and she said, am I warmer or am I colder? And the voice said, warmer. And eventually, Clarabelle found the corpse of a Kenku and said, ah, this is the source of the voice. And the siblings came together and, um, Clarabelle, Clive, Cli- Clarabelle, said, ha ha, um, uh, Colin, you, uh, fixated on one thing, and Calliope, you fixated on another, things that Laura said, but I can't remember, and, uh, and I figured it out because Taliesin, uh, and they, um, put the corpse of the Kenku to rest, uh, but the corpse, its spirit is still there to this day and will be there for any traveler in the woods and play games with them, like this fucking game of narrative telephone. And that's what you will find if you ever travel through the Savalier Woods. Well, I'm Caduceus Clay. Ooh, do 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 do. And I'm here to tell you a spooky story about the three Clay siblings, Clarabelle, Colin, and Calliope. They were transporting the corpse of a cleric named Ark Arkhart through the woods on a cart. Arkhart through a cart. Um, when they got into the woods, they heard a voice call out, "Hello." Hello! They all had three different reactions. Clarabelle, the wisest of the three siblings, decided to stay near the cart. But Colin, Liam said something about it being easy. I'm gonna say that Colin raced into the woods to find the source of the the voice. And Calliope, Liam said something about a semblance of reality. I'm not sure what that means. So I'm just gonna say that Calliope also dashed into the woods after the sound of the voice. But Clarabelle being the smartest and wisest, I'm not gonna drop character like Liam did. The smartest and wisest of the clay siblings decided to stay near the cart. She said, can you hear me? And the voice said, yes. Then she said, did you come before me or after me? And the voice said, after. Then she said, Am I getting warmer or colder? And the voice said, warmer. So she followed the source of the voice deeper into the woods until she found the corpse of a Kenku. Not a corpse of the cleric named Arkhart, a corpse of a Kenku, different corpse. Then she realized the voice was coming from the corpse. It was the source of the corpse voice. She dragged the corpse back to the cart and reunited with her brother and siblings, sorry, I'm not gonna lose that voice, reunited with her siblings. Um, Apparently Colin said something and Calliope said something, but Liam couldn't remember what it was because Taliesin. Um, They laid the corpse to rest, the Kenku corpse there in the woods. And if you travel through those same Savalier woods, you might encounter the spirit of the Kenku corpse, which, which is playful and is there to play games with you. Hello, I'm Caduceus Clay. Uh, Oh, is that what I'm going with? Yes, I guess. Um, I'd like to tell you a spooky story uh, about three Clay siblings, uh, Clarabelle, Colin, and Calliope. And the three Clay siblings were taking the remains of a cleric named Arkhart on a cart through the Savalier Woods. And as they were transporting the remains of Arkhart on a cart, uh, they heard a voice call out going, hello, hello, hello. Um, well, that voice is drifting. Uh, 
And they all stopped, and uh, Clarabelle, being the oldest and the wisest, wisest, stayed by the cart. Colin uh, did something, but Liam didn't remember, but said something about it being easy, so he went off in the woods in the direction of the voice, searching for it. Uh, Calliope also went off in search of the voice in the woods, but uh, Sam mentioned something about a semblance of reality, but Liam didn't know what it was. Uh, and while Clarabelle was by the cart by herself, the voice said, Hello, can you hear me? And Clarabelle said, Yes, I can. Did you come before or after? And the voice said, After. And Clarabelle said, Am I getting warmer or colder? And started, I guess, walking off into the woods in search of this voice, finally? And the voice said, Warmer. And she suddenly came across the remains of a Kenku. A Kenku. That's when she realized that the voice wasn't coming from the Kenku. It was coming from the cleric in the cart, our cart. That's where the voice was coming from. Somehow, the other siblings came back and they had questions for Clarabelle. Both Colin and Calliope, neither of which, or neither of whom, Liam remembered their questions. So, to this day, if you move through the Savalier Wood, the spirit of the Kenku, not the Arkhart cleric that they were transporting, but the Kenku will play with you in the forest because he has a playful and jovial demeanor. Oh, hello, I'm Caduceus, and I'm gonna tell you of a, a spooky story uh, that happened when I was traveling with my siblings. So it was me, my sister Calliope, my sister Clarabelle, and my brother Colin. Those three clays. And wait, maybe I wasn't there. Maybe Caduceus wasn't there. Maybe he's just telling the story that he heard of um, Colin, Calliope, and Clarabelle. And they had to go off on a journey to bury the Arkhart. Um, so they put the Arkhart on a cart and set off through into the Savalier Wood to go bury the Arkhart. And deep into the forest, they heard a spooky voice say, Hello, hello, hello. And they were confused at where this spooky voice was coming from. So Colin wandered off into the woods in search for it. Uh, and then Calliope went off after a few minutes when Colin didn't return to search for the voice that they kept hearing. And then it was just Clarabelle all alone by the cart with the Ark Heart. And she heard it again. Hello, 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 hello. And was like, oh, what is happening? And then she also started wandering off into the woods, leaving the Ark Heart cart totally unattended. And she wandered off and found the corpse of a Kenku and went, oh, that must be where it was coming from, but it was coming from the Ark Heart in the cart the whole time. Something about it, it came from the art cart in the cart. Um, so when you wander off through the Savalier Woods, sometimes you can still hear the <laughs> spirit of the Kenku that was ripping off the voice of the art cart, I guess? The spirit of the Kenku just kind of stole the spirit of the Ark Hearts, and it's spooky. Hello, everyone. My name is Caduceus Clay, and I am here to tell you a very spooky tale um, that happened to my siblings, uh, Cal Cali Cal Calliope. Uh, Clarabelle and Colin and I may have been here on the journey as well but I don't know um, 
so what happened what had happened was was they 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 had to oh no they had to take the ark heart on a cart out into the savalier woods and it was it was something that they needed to do and then when they got out there they you know they're going on this whole journey rolling this cart of the ark heart on it and they start hearing a spooky voice they start hearing hello 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 Ooh. sounds kind of friendly to me um so anyway so colin is like you know what take it easy i'm gonna go check it out so he goes and he checks it out and after some time goes by Calliope is like, well, hell, I don't know where he went. What if this thing killed him and we're just here with this arc heart? Let me um, go investigate. So she leaves Clarabelle there alone with the arc heart cart. And then she goes out there and then she's gone forever. And Clarabelle is like, well, great. Now I'm just here all alone. What if they just died? And I'm just sitting here protecting this arc heart cart. So, <laughs> so she goes to investigate, to see where they are, and to the, where the spooky sound is coming from. And then she finds a corpse of a Cancun. And this Cancun is just dead. That's why it's a corpse. And, it, and <laughs> she's like, maybe this is what's making all the noise. And it's like, it's not, it wasn't what was making all the noise. <laughs> Oh no! Okay. Oh, this is so bad. So, so, where was I? Shit, I don't know who's following me, I'm so sorry. So, it's not the corpse anyway. So she ends up still hearing the spooky voice again. Hello, 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 woo! She realizes. Oh my God, it's coming from the Ark Heart cart. It was that the whole time. So I guess there was some weird echolocation thing going on with it, kind of like a mocking Jay thing. And so she goes back to the cart to, to protect it since it was there all alone and it's still there and it's fine. And basically this is a whole story about you know, higher, higher, higher reality, you know, higher reality and, and, and enlightenment. So just, just, just know that. Make yourself a better person. H Hello there. It's me, Caduceus Clay, or Southern for no particular reason, apparently. But uh, I, I'm going to tell you a story about me and some of my siblings uh, went out and had an adventure. Uh, I, well, my siblings did. It was uh, it was Calliope, Clarabelle, and uh, Colin. And uh, I think I might have been there too. Maybe I wasn't. I don't I don't remember. But um, anyway, they were uh, they were supposed to go on this this journey by taking uh, the Ark Heart uh, on a cart which the Ark Heart's a deity. Um, so, must have been a big cart. Um, take the Ark Heart cart to uh, somewhere deep in the Savalier Woods, and they uh, they were traveling out there, and and eventually they were in the spooky, spooky area, and, you know, keeping it going, and suddenly they hear this, this, this spooky sound that comes through. It's going, hello, hello, hello. This wasn't really spooky, it was more friendly, but anyway. Um, so uh, Calliope goes, well, that's that's not good. I gotta go ahead and figure out where that's coming from. You guys you gotta stay back and, and watch the Arkhart cart. And so she leaves the Arkhart cart and goes on to investigate this spooky sound. Uh, after a while, she, she's not coming back. And uh, then uh, Colin's like, well, if she's gone this long, 
think. If she's been gone this long, uh, I, mean, I should go check and make sure she's okay. So, uh, hey, hang back here, Claire Bell. And so then Colin leaves and goes to inspect the same sound and hearing it going, hello, hello, hello. And so then now it's just Claire Bell there by the car with the art car in the car. And uh, she's, she's sitting there wondering, hoping everyone's okay. And then eventually she, it's been too long. It's been too long and she's worried. And she goes, oh, I gotta find out. Oh, hopefully they're okay. Maybe they're dead. Maybe they got killed. I, I don't know. I gotta go figure it out. Um, so she goes and travels and, and eventually uh, stumbles upon the, the corpse of a Kenku. Um, uh, it's just a Kenku there. And, uh, and, and she hears the noise. Uh, hello, hello, uh, hello. And uh, it's, it's coming from the corpse. But no, no, it's not, it's not coming from the corpse. Never mind. You know, it's because it's dead. It's not. It's coming from somewhere else. She hears it. Hello, hello, hello. And, and, and then she realizes that it's, it's actually coming from the R cart, back in the cart. So uh, she returns, um, had some sort of weird echolocation thing uh, going out there. Uh, so she returns to the cart, uh, and uh, and that that's that's the story, you know. So it, it's about uh, it's about higher consciousness. It's all about just the metaphysical uh, higher understanding of, of consciousness and what it means to well, apparently to fucking ditch your siblings in, in the middle of the forest before you complete the story. Um, uh, <laughs> so, so there you go. You learned a lesson from Southern Caduceus about a, a metaphysical understanding of um, higher consciousness in the Arkhart cart. Lucky number seven! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh boy. Is it seven? <laughs> Wow. Seven yeah, seven of us. Wow. Yeah, only one remains. Wow. Only one left. Do I roll you say with only myself one. at the end of the? No, no. Yes, yes, you do. Off. I get okay, vengeance I... at the end of this. I need vengeance now. That you know what we're <laughs> that's doing. right. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's oh, no. right. In we're time. gonna bring it back. In time. Around. Yeah. Bring yeah. it back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bring it back. <laughs> bring it back around. <laughs> yeah. Talison. Yeah. So. So. I Explain had, thyself. Boy, I, I had this terrible, sometimes I wake up having dreamt of a terrible thing. And <laughs> normally I just file that away for things I will never do because I want to maintain friendships. Uh, and then <laughs> Liam did something to me. <laughs> and Liam, Liam threw a bunch so of German lucky. at me. Yep. And yeah. I it went, broke something inherently inside you. <laughs> and that was, that was just the, well, apparently all gloves are off. So yeah. this is the worst thing I've ever done possibly to any human being. Mm -hmm. I did to Laura and I do apologize. And I yeah. did mess up one name because I was using an old version of Clay's backstory that I should have deleted. You years you ago. messed up a name in your own story. I did. Well, uh, don't don't worry. Don't I was worry. I just by that people fixed it people for are you. gonna people are gonna catch it anyway. So I'm just gonna be like straight up. I was I was in a rush and I used an old document. Which I was in a abuse. rush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was and in a rush. If, to if you guys just wait to hear what he did to me, and you'll say <laughs> in a rush, really. And don't skip over the fact that you told us that you meant to swing a, a two by four into yeah. my face. Oh, yeah, this that was I you. followed you, but Laura stepped into that position and you took it. You protected was, my twin. This yeah. is a. Uh, this was meant for you. This is a moral lesson in itself on why revenge is toxic. Yeah. <laughs> I, the moral my, of the story. We haven't will even be started. Much nicer. <laughs> Wow. We'll be no. much nicer in my next one. No, I can't. I can't yes. top this. I'm ready. I don't know how. I want to see what happens. Yeah. Bring on the. All right, come never on, heard it come all. on. Give me some alliteration. Here we go. Ooh, great oh, background. Caduceus Clay here. Oh, I'm going oh. to tell you a story about my siblings. Oh, we're reading. A particularly spooky yeah. encounter they experienced. No eye contact. Clara, no. Nope. <laughs> Colin and Calliope Clay. We're okay. the cadaver of a cleric of Corallon oh, named Christoph Casimir. Oh, fuck Towards you. its resting place within the Blooming Grove Cemetery. What an asshole. Oh. As the players <laughs> made their way beneath the canopy of crooked conifers, they couldn't <laughs> shake the feeling that they were being watched. Calliope halted the cart and confidently called out, 
Whoever follows us in these woods, show yourself. <laughs> oh no! For Melora help you, I will defend this cleric charge to my care. From no trees, way! <laughs> a whispered voice called out. <laughs> Calliope, whose caution was certainly lacking, Fuck sprung into story. action, carelessly leaving her kin to guard their cargo. Minutes passed with no sign of Calliope, making Colin and Clarabelle nervous. Colin, who had seen his fair share of creepiness in his chosen occupation, immediately thought of the cleric in the cart. The For cleric Colin knew Corlon the Arkhart was known to these woods. Oh and boy. Could be calling to their own cleric's cold cadaver. No! Oh, oh no. my god! This is signs that I may be of service to you. A ghostly voice then called back, be of service. I wonder what? You Colin no. dashed towards the woods, yeah. leaving of Clarabelle service. alone with the corpse in her care. Like, the first Clarabelle person couldn't even do it without reading it. No. Call. Mm. Being the cleverest of all the clays, she contrived a game to confirm her theory. <laughs> Strange voice, she said, are you near or far? Near, called the whisper. Oh, Are you okay. before me or behind oh, me? It's Grover. Oh, before. <laughs> Clarabelle walked cautiously into the woods. Am I cold or warm? Cauliflower. After a brief stroll into the tree line, she heard warm. Beneath her feet were the ancient bones of a kinku. Oh my God. Clarabelle called out to Colin and Calliope, with the ghostly echo adding to her cattle wall. Oh. Calliope asked, how did you find them? Clarabelle explained. Oh, I need more cattle You only listen for danger. <laughs> Colin, you listen for a sign. What is he talking about? I simply heard someone who was lost. Oh, yeah. The three clays. I can't hear the, the story. All I hear is cave. I know, me too. Which in turn released its spirit. And that spirit still wanders the forest, playfully copying the cries of nervous travelers I'm so who stray too deep into the Savalier Wood. Oh my God. Whoa. Yep. That, was, I, that was 12 minutes, right? Wow. I I don't know what the story was about, you and I was listening. So three people, there was a there was a there was a Kenku uh, Kenku spirit that could shut only up, Talis, and you don't get to fucking here. talk right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Clearly, yeah, you are a fucking provoked. <laughs> Today's <laughs> episode yeah. is brought to you by the letter C. Yeah. Jesus. Clearly, you are a clever contriver oh of consonants, but I want you to conjure a cock and get fucked. See, <laughs> that is some Talisin. bullshit. Talisin. You probably would have been able to remember a lot of it, Matt. No, but... uh, no. no, I respect it. That is awesome. I well done. I respect it too, dude. I will never I do mean, it again. Don't say that. Wow. No, no, this is the escalation. No, if, this wow. is how it happens. This is how we just get more and more violent with wow. every story. This is nope. great. Mm -hmm. I will I will burn in an entirely different way next time. You will, it, it will, you will, I will never appear from in this direction again. I couldn't, I couldn't focus no. on anything he was saying because all I was no. like, no. see, see, I see. I would have It's so weird. You know was, what's what's weird about it is like that sound that ka, ka, ka sound. It's not. It's an abrasive sound, but yet it was lulling me into like yeah, a yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah. to that instead of the story. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. I would have panicked. It's like, I already did, but I was like, "Well, yeah. I know the story's gone at this point, so what can I do?" Uh, the, the the German blanked me so yeah. hard. Do you guys oh, ever watch those like um, consolation of? The the hydraulic. The, do you guys ever watch like the hydraulic press channels? Yes. Oh yes. yes. That's kind of, what's kind that? of what I was getting. What is that? What is Sam, a hydraulic? Have you haven't watched it? Sam. Oh, okay. oh Sam. Is it just we're a hydraulic sure. press? Yeah, but yeah, it's just all sorts of things. random Pushes things. things. Play-doh. And like some dude with this Damn. amazing, outrageous, I think it's a Finnish accent. Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. It's, it's amazing. The same every video. It's great. It's great. It's a gummy so bear. Good. Can we just watch that for the next? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you're about to see. Yeah. I, I, here we go. This yeah. is Laura yeah. being crushed oh, in a hydraulic. There goes yeah. Laura. <laughs> this is a version of that. <laughs> Into the wood chipper. <laughs> I have such mad respect. <laughs> look how pretty your so eyes great. look. I, I use the, the I use the light. It's it so, so great. <laughs> Fantastic. Yet another room. It's those Android eyes. I hate. Talisman, Jackie. <laughs> 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 Deuces Clay here. Oh, oh, tell you a spooky oh. tale about <laughs> Who knows? my siblings, Calliope, <laughs> Colin, <sighs> and Clarabelle. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. Queen. So far, so good. The Killed it. The Clays were carding the corpse. You're trying to do of it. A cleric. <laughs> We're doing good. You're uh, actually trying. You know, cool. the, the arm movements survived. <laughs> yeah. Rest 
yep. deep in the heart of the blooming grove. <laughs> <laughs> wow. As they wandered through the grove, <laughs> cleverly <laughs> cascading through the wow. canopy. Oh. Uh, they heard a voice. Just thrown out a and bunch of C words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clever. Conifer. Yeah, the, uh, Kentucky. The second person is supposed to Not be a... good. I'm <laughs> being really bad. I think this is Collide. the first trash fire in the two yes. slots. Burn it down. A voice calling. <laughs> Come. That's <laughs> cool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing so much better than I thought anyone would. What? Low power mode. <laughs> oh, she what? Went chicken the woods claw. A chicken claw. Chased it down, looking for the source. There yeah, this go. needed more pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Colin. <laughs> then stepped up. <laughs> it's like every dream I had of like, this forgetting my lines before yes. going on stage yeah. in one yeah, video. Yes, yeah. Woods. <laughs> Perhaps it's the cleric's. Are you doing Tai Chi? Wow! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, you're holding on so much better than I there. thought you would. Perhaps it's people that knew him, and so <gasps> he went, and he was like, "Send me a sign, oh followers of <gasps> our cart." And they said, "It's what? just like Talisons." Come, and so he ran into the woods. Yeah, yeah, he did. And. <laughs> Wait, he? Clarabella. <laughs> yeah, Colin. Oh, okay. Stayed by the cart for a while, and the cleverest of the three, she thought, I will try to figure out something better. <laughs> 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 and she called out to the voice. <sighs> Are you there, voice? And the voice said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and walked towards the edge of the tree. <laughs> Am I, are you before me or after? Yeah, 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 and yeah. And the voice said yeah, before. So good. So she's oh my God. walking God. forward. And as she got closer, she said, is, am I warmer or colder? Oh no, oh no she's and starting to slur her warmer. speech. And she kept wandering, following this call until she came across the corpse of a kenku. Well done. Hey. And she so called out to her siblings, I have found the source of the voice. And her siblings came and they uh, communed with the corpse and set it free. Sure. Yeah. And her siblings good, good. were like, how did you, I was clay. I was Caduceus at one point in the story. <laughs> no, what to do? And she was like, Calliope, you only what? heard danger, and Colin, you only heard a sign. Oh, boy. But I only heard the voice of someone who was lost. Well done. And wow. Yeah. So I've never heard those words before. I didn't, hear the I didn't even get that in Talisons. No, me neither. Nailed it. The woods and calls out and plays games with weary travelers who wander. <laughs> Into the Savalier Woods. Damn! Actually, that was wow. really good. Wow. You did good. Holy, Holy shit! shit. Oh, yeah. the freeze frame. Oh. The freeze frame at the end was great. Yeah, yeah it was. You, <laughs> you, you did way better than I was expecting. And yeah. yeah, no joke. That, that felt was... like like if Talisons was a verse from the Bible, and someone was just like, "This was like the gist of this verse yeah. from the Bible," yeah. and you can kind of understand it better that you mean, way. Like if Talisons was the original Bible, Laura's was the Bible now. Yeah, yeah. there you You're go. Like, Oh, I, I get what you were going for. Awesome. I prefer yeah. the original Aramaic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. American Standard Bible. Right. Yeah. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. American. Oh, Cheers to the Gideon. Are you there, voice? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's me, Laura. No. <laughs> I think that was great. That was so, awesome. That was Thank good. You, you rocked that. I'm well, very impressed. I'm shocked. Yeah. Thank that you was still, that was I'm designed still, to be. I didn't know what the hell you said to me, Laura. Was I there a moral the story. or a lesson to the story? Yeah, there was a lesson, lesson. and a moral to that. What, oh yeah. What, what, listen, it? it's listen. <laughs> 
is Let's what listen. it is. Don't jump to conclusions. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Oh, don't worry. We find a moral by the end of all this. <laughs> okay. Uh, for sure. I can't wait did. to hear what it is. It was specifically a moral about <laughs> how hard it was to listen yeah. to the story itself. So. If I were following you, I would have just I would have just written a new story. Yeah. I don't know. I, like, I wouldn't have been able to do it. I wouldn't have been able to do it. I don't yeah, know how you did I would have. I, I felt bad for Laura. I would have felt really. I would yeah. have felt really bad for Sam, uh, Ashley, or Travis. I feel. I think I would have really. This round is definitely like the Dark Souls of narrative telephones. So yes. Far. Like, um, yes. I have oh. nothing but love for it. Oh, thank thank well, you for giving me permission, yeah, this Liam. Is, this is the Bloodborne <laughs> version for sure. Yep. <laughs> Who was next? Liam, Liam was Liam. next. We discovered yeah. what this show is about, which is inflicting pain. Yes. Very yes. Much. Bring it on. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, nice that's background. a lovely. I, I thought the outside thing was uh, intentional. <sighs> Fuck, <sighs> tell us some Jaffe, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, uh, hi there, I'm Caduceus <laughs> Clay. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you that's a great. spooky story <laughs> about the three... <sighs> Lord, this was a random mess. Uh, three play siblings, uh, uh, Calliope, well done, uh, Colin, and well done. <laughs> <laughs> always, Bell. always, yeah. 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 Um, one day, let's do this. <laughs> they were uh, bringing a corpse of a cleric named. Arkhart sure. through the woods <laughs> and out. Uh, You're just seriously doing the same thing I did. This is. <laughs> you do, you've done that with every story, Laura. You drop out a picture every episode. This cleric through the woods. And uh, as they were traveling, um, they heard uh, a voice that said. Ps, ps, Hello, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, and the siblings are listening to that. And, um, uh, shit, this is oh, no. lame. This is me. <laughs> um, first, uh, Clarabelle said, Who is that? And, uh, yep, <laughs> just, just like that. Who is so many? Is there one, man? Number there two there is one. supposed to be the easy one, said Laura, and number three should be of an approximation of. Semblance to, to reality, said Liam. <laughs> now, um, uh oh, and uh, oh, that's where that shit came from. from. Is that, yeah, like, oh. and, uh, and they said, Can you hear me? I think they did it one at a time, but it's all just a blur. <laughs> Easy um, semblance of reality, and, that's where that uh, came from. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Clarabelle was uh, no, this is bad. I'm not <laughs> just real bad, Liam. Real bad. And also, Colin was gone. And I know the details that I just threw out, but they're gone. And Clarabelle, who was the wisest of the three, uh, okay. stayed by okay. the cart. Power through. Uh, Power through. Keep going. Point, I was just keep Caduceus going. Clay. Abort. Oh. There, uh, so no one's going to be Caduceus Clay anymore at the halfway point. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> and Clarabelle was the was the wisest of the three, so she, yes, she was. stayed by the cart <laughs> and, um, <laughs> said, and called out to the voice and said, "Can you hear me, voice?" And the voice said, "Yes." So uh, oh, Clarabelle went off in search of the voice and said, "So Are many you, c words." <laughs> uh, before me or after me? And the voice said, "I don't know." After. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> said, am I Take warm one. or am I cold? Red or black? Fifty percent chance. Yeah. Yeah. Toss and a eventually, coin. film the season of Scantron. You're fine. Clarabelle found the corpse <laughs> of a Kenku. Well done. And said, "Ah, oh, this is the source of the voice." And the siblings came together, and um, whew, I mean, Clarabelle <laughs> said, "Ha ha." Um, <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, 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 thing? Just a thing. Where is this going? And I figured it out because Talison. 
<laughs> and that's they, the lesson. Uh, that's wow. the lesson. The corpse of the Kenku to rest. Uh, but the corpse, its spirit is still there to this day and will be there for any traveler in the woods and play games with them. Like this fucking game of narrative telephone. <laughs> How long is this one? That's four, so four and a half long. minutes. We're six or seven minutes. <laughs> Woods. Woods. Okay. Uh, wow. 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 That wow. was a <clears throat> my worst. brain wreck. My yeah, look upon my works, ye mighty in despair. That was. <laughs> I. Would have panicked following that as well. No, I, I, actually, I, I followed it. I found it quite refreshing because there was no content. <laughs> yeah. It was quite quite That's easy to follow. That's how we it. got yeah. where we there were, that, yep. Yeah, yep. That, by the way, is what I was hoping for, Laura. Well done. Yeah. It's like making sourdough bread. You have to wait for it to rise That's and then fall. fall. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let it compress. <laughs> Let all that air Correct. just go Narrative away. Narrative telephone. Like so I don't know anything about making bread. Uh, doesn't Sam's wife mm. make bread? That was she makes amazing. Bread. It's just like wow. a slap and well, fold, um, slap and fold. That was, that was fun watching the world burn. Oh, my cool. God. Oh, <laughs> Talson, we're not halfway oh, yeah. there yet, man. Yeah. Wow. I yeah. thought we're being not outside, even halfway, and it I is was, just... I was here to see Liam crash, so that... Well, I thought, I thought you hit Laura so hard. Part of it. So, you hit Laura so hard that her skull hit mine, so you still <laughs> managed to mess me <laughs> What were you saying, yeah. Sam? No, I thought I being outside was an important part of it, so I did mine outside. Um, oh. My kids oh, are here, by the way. Are they, are they <laughs> kissing uh, the uh, dog to uh -huh. dog night? Yeah, so no. good night. Oh. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Um, and I also couldn't tell which oh, right. parts were Liam hemming and hawing or which parts were Liam doing a Laura impression. So I didn't know what to do. Good. So you did this. <laughs> Which you did. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see what happened. So, Sam. I was just told a very simple story. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> tell, but I think my version will probably be much shorter because there was a lot of details. But here's what I remember: <laughs> Liam started by going like this. <sighs> <laughs> uh, okay, thank you, Talison. Well, I'm Caduceus Clay. And I'm here to tell you a spooky story about the three Clay siblings, Clarabelle, Colin, and Calliope. That's they fair. were transporting the corpse it of a cleric named Ark Arkhart through uh, the woods on a cart. Arkhart through a cart. Um... When they got into the woods, they heard a voice call out, hello, hello. <laughs> they all had three different reactions. Clarabelle, the wisest of the three siblings, decided to stay near the cart. But Colin, Liam said something about it being easy. I'm gonna say that Colin raced into the woods to yep. find the source of <laughs> there the it is. Hey. Yeah. Okay, bro. Liam said something about a semblance of reality. I'm not sure what that means. So I'm just going to say that Calliope also dashed into the woods after <laughs> the sound of the voice. Sure. Yeah. Being the smartest and wisest. Bible. I'm not going to drop character like Liam did. The smartest and wisest of the clay siblings. We're in character to right now. Yeah. Hold it. Keep holding it up. Hold it up. I love it. And the voice said, yes. <laughs> then she said, did you come before me or after me? And the voice said, after. Then she said, am I getting warmer or colder? And the voice said, warmer. So she followed the source of the voice deeper into the woods hey. until she found the corpse hey. of a Kenku. Hey. Not a corpse of the cleric named Arkhart, a corpse of a Kenku, different corpse. <laughs> then she realized the voice was coming from the corpse. It was the source of the corpse. I don't voice. know if that's true at all. Is that true? She dragged the corpse back to the <laughs> cart and reunited with her brother and siblings. Sorry, I'm not going to lose that voice. Reunited with her siblings. Is that what I sound like? Um, apparently, Colin said something and Calliope said something, but Liam couldn't remember what it was because Talison. Um, <laughs> the corpse Fair. to rest. The Kenku corpse there in the woods. And if you travel through those same Savalier woods, you might encounter the spirit of the Kenku corpse, 
which is, which is playful and is there to play games with you. <laughs> and I don't know what to do for another two minutes because <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of hemming and hawing. Like, Liam was having a, a visceral, <laughs> physical reaction to it. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I can't tell if he was doing like a Laura impression or if that's what his mind was really doing. I can't tell, but that's this, the story. This so is the reaction go like this part. For a while. Uh, <laughs> oh. Okay. Bye. Oh my uh, God. You know, I was worried it would get too simple and and then become repetitive at the end. But so far, I'm pretty pleased. <laughs> so wait. So wait. Oh at, at, at what time did you finish that, Sam? Uh, well, I finished the story about two and a half minutes, and then I just I just yacked for another thirty seconds afterwards. <laughs> okay. Well, good Such thing we kept it nice and trim from there on out. Uh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Uh, Did it keep you longer and longer? I think it grew again. Oh, yeah, it kind of oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. got swolen. Not mine. Travis, I kept it lean and mean. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> Travis went next. I was after him, and Travis has big, I ain't even playing this vibes. Oh, no. In his video. Oh, he no. Was, like, he stopped. Not here for it. It's, it's the brakes on the roller coaster before you go back up the hill. It's just <laughs> It's pretty great. It's the reset. It's the reset. <laughs> gotta have a reset. Oh, he looks like he's having a rough nice. day. He's done. I got a call at oh, three. Boy. I'm not doing this. Yeah, that does not seem like a long story. Sam being Liam. I'm Caduceus Clay. Uh, oh, <laughs> Yes, I guess. Is that what uh, I sound like? I'd like to tell you a spooky story. Uh, Hello. Uh, what's wrong with me? Clay God. siblings. Uh, Clarabelle, <laughs> That's Colin, okay, Bucky. and Calliope. <laughs> Boy, 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 Boy. Boy. Siblings are taking the remains of a Clary Bougie. <laughs> cart. Sure. <laughs> on a cart through the Savalier Woods. Little and as Thurston they were Howell. And transporting the remains of our cart on a cart. <laughs> Uh, they heard a voice call out going, hello, hello, hello. hello. Oh, gee. Uh, oh, 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 uh, did something, but Liam didn't remember, but said something about it being easy. So he went off in the woods in the direction of the voice, searching for it. Uh, Calliope also went off in search of voice the voice in the woods. Yeah. But, uh, Sam mentioned something about a semblance of reality, Done. but Liam didn't know what it was. Uh, and while Clarabelle was by the cart by herself, the voice said, Hello, can you hear me? And Clarabelle Hello? said, Yes, I can. Did you come before or after? And the voice said, After. And Clarabelle said, Am I getting warmer or colder? And started, I guess, walking off into the woods in search of this voice, finally? And the voice said, Warmer. And she suddenly came across the remains of a Kenku. A Kenku. <laughs> and she realized that the voice wasn't coming from the Kenku, it was coming from the cleric! Wait, and my part, our part, that's where the voice was coming from. New detail. Oh, oh okay. What? Okay. Somehow, this makes a lot more sense. The other siblings Track me. This makes a lot more sense. I understand. I feel like my <laughs> husband just turned into Bill Murray. Both wow. <laughs> neither of which, or neither of whom, Liam remembered their questions. <laughs> so, to this day, if you move through the Savalier Wood, the yes. spirit of the it Kenku, was from not the, the cleric that they were transporting, but the Kenku will play with you in the forest because he has a playful and jovial demeanor. Oh boy, he's mm -hmm. done. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was like a minute of vamping, but I ain't doing that shit. There is no <laughs> way. There is no way you didn't go immediately into a conference call three seconds later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. In fact, he may have been on a conference call and just said, hey, I got to yeah, step away for a like, second. I'll be right yeah. back. I'm going to mute myself. Spare <laughs> chance. Just blame it on Ronan. Yeah. yeah it's Ronan. I got to. Um, oh, I am amazing. so happy with all Hello, of this. Hello, and so welcome far. to Wally World. Welcome <laughs> 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 to a Burbog. Holy Reddit. I'm going to go out of my head. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, that, vo that voice I'm is I'm really great. enjoying these clay impressions, by the way. That's making, that's oh. also making me oh. really oh, happy. No. Sam, yours was a little bit like Patrick Warburton on uh, Helium. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, kind of. No, that's pretty good. I mean, that's kind of where it is. Travis was Barney the Dinosaur. Oh, I love you. Oh, my gosh, it was Barney. Yeah, 
Oh, I love Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I love you. <laughs> That's your campaign three character, actually. Don't spoil it. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, my God. Who um, was that? I, I was, I, 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 yeah. I was. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I, I, I lost, I lost a lot. Yeah. It will, there was yeah. nothing to lose anymore. Uh-oh. There's almost uh-huh. no details left. Yeah. There were yeah, some. There, nah. There's oh, just new details God. all the time. Stunner. The name, the Kanku Corp. Stop that. Look at that. Stunner. Look at that. God. How do you do that? Shut, shut up. <laughs> you look like shit. <laughs> I don't know what Thank you. That makes me feel It's hard to repeat things that you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. do it all the time, but... <laughs> so true. <Okay. laughs> wow. Wow. Dude. Oh, yeah. hello. I'm Hey, pretty and good. I'm going to tell you All right. of, uh, a spooky story. Crazy eyes. <laughs> yep. Uh, Crazy eyes. <laughs> they start. Got the cadence right. My siblings. So it was me, my sister Calliope, well my done. sister Clarabelle, and my was brother there. Colin. Oh, he's Three there too. Plays. And. Wait, maybe I wasn't there. Maybe Caduceus wasn't there. That's maybe he's just from. telling the story that he heard of um, Colin Calliope and Clarabelle. <laughs> okay, and okay. Back on track. And to go off on a journey to bury the Arkhart. Um, oh. So they put the Arkhart on a cart and <laughs> yeah. set off through into the Savalier Wood. Back in there. bury the Arkhart. What is the Arkhart? What is the Arkhart? Arkhart's a god, voice. technically, which really fucked with my head. Spooky voice. <laughs> Say, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and they Give it. were Selling it with personality. Thank you. Coming from. So Colin wandered off into the woods in search for it. Uh, and then Calliope <laughs> went off after a few minutes when Colin didn't return to search for the voice that they kept hearing. And then it was just Clarabelle all alone by the cart with the Ark Heart. And she heard the voice. And I was like, oh, what is happening? Oh, <laughs> Oh, what is happening? Into the woods. It took a bone right there. That's just my arm monologue. Totally yeah. unattended. And she uh, wandered off and found the fatty. corpse of a kangaroo. Oh, there's yeah. no, there's no call and response and in this one. Nope. No more. Okay. Oh, that must be <laughs> where it was coming from. Coming from the cart in the cart. Oh no! Oh, I love I, that it's still some alliteration. Something about it no. came from the art cart in the cart. Oh uh, no! So <laughs> when you wander off, oh, from blah, blah. the Savalier Woods. Time to wrap it up. Sometimes you can still hear the <laughs> spirit of the Kanku that was ripping off the voice of the art cart. I guess. The spirit of the kangaroo just kind of stole the spirit of sure. the Arkhart. I'm into it. Believe in it. Believe in it. Believe in it. And also something about higher reality. There, oh, wow. Wow. there we have it. Going back. There we have it. Yes. You know, being Whoa, a, bro. A enlightened human being. Whoa. Wow. Okay. That's true. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that amazing. So oh, nice. I'm really excited that Whoa. we're going to get a piece of a Dr. Seuss style art of the art cart in the cart. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We gotta so get wait, it. was it not? Oh, yes. Is it art cart? It was the cleric, the which cleric. I didn't ever know. The cleric it was, was named art cart. No, no, it was, no. no it's, well, cleric it's the cleric Arcart. of Coralon named Chris, uh, Christoph Kazmar. Oh, Nobody yeah. cares about the fucking answer, Talos. What happened? Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, where did art cart come from? Well, art cart's one of the deities. In yeah, the Coralon is the art cart. Yeah. So wait, he, nope. he's Corlon, a follower of Corlon. the Yeah, it's a cleric of cleric the Arkhart. Of the Arkhart. Yeah, but okay. when did Talison say Arkhart? Was it in uh, the Several cart? times in there, yeah. At some okay. point in this 12-minute yeah. video he started this yeah. with. <laughs> cleric of the Arkhart. <laughs> cleric of the Arkhart. <laughs> At some point, I, Bob Loblaw was riding around on the Arkhart cart. Bob Loblaw. He's out on the Arkhart cart. 
with the rural I, juror. You know, no, no one. We, we're all bad at this, but everyone is. Everyone is pretty confident at the top and the tail of their story. Like, even if they're totally wrong, they're pretty confident about the, t- the, yeah. the beginning and end. <laughs> the middle is just a mush. Uh, but even when we're bullshitting, like, Marisha was pretty confident at the end. It, yeah. it's, it, end, it ends with Marisha, Sam. Okay. Yeah, that uh, doesn't. <laughs> are there, just, there are two more, the right? There are two more. Stay. Yeah, I think, yeah. I, I, think, I think it ended with Marisha. I think. I can't believe I lost all the call and response. I just, I was like, they all. Left. How could you, Marisha? Everything was so clear before it came to you. Oh, yeah. Total logical. You 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 put the alliteration back, which I'm really, really happy with. Like, somehow you you Uh, knew it was missing and just got uh, it back uh, in there. Our cart and a cart is not enough alliteration to hold a candle. Our cart and a cart is (laughs) great. Yes. Uh, Well, I tossed it to Ashley, Mm -hmm. which I'm so excited to see. Oh, man. That's a nightmare, guys. Okay. Oh, man, oh, man. I'm <laughs> sure there was a story here, and I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> um, hello. Um, hey, I'm Mr. Ed. Oh, oh, everyone. My name is Caduceus Clay. Hey, oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. He's from Oh yeah. A very oh, yeah. spooky tale. Doesn't he sometimes um, that, have an accent? No. no. Not really? No, no, no. no. You did from the Calvary beginning. He's loud. Uh, just this. Calliope, uh, Clarabelle, and Oh Colin. boy. And I may have been here on the journey as well, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, yes! So wow. what happened? Oh. What happened was, was they 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 had to. Oh it's Steel no. Magnolias. We're watching Steel Magnolias. <laughs> it's amazing. They had to take our heart. There's like an audio visual sync problem on our end, and it's not woods. affecting the story was, in any way. <laughs> and then when they got out there, they you know they're going on this whole journey. Chaos. Rolling this cart. Of the art heart on it. What? Yeah. They start hearing a spooky voice. A spooky hearing, voice. A spooky I love voice. them. You have an accent. Hello. Easier Hello. to follow than mine. Hello. I can't. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Fried green oh, tomatoes. Oh, um, so please. So anyway, so Colin is like, you know what? Take it easy. I'm going to go check it out. So he goes and he checks it out. And after right. some time goes by... Calliope is like, well, hell, I don't know where he is. Well, 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 hell, hell, well, hell. hell. He's here with this art heart. Let me um, go investigate. So yeah. she leaves Clarabelle there alone with the art heart cart. And then hey. she goes out there and then she's gone forever. Clarabelle is like, well, great. Now I'm just here all alone. What if she just died? And I'm just sitting here protecting this art heart oh. cart. Yeah. So, I agree with yeah. all of this. So she yeah. goes to investigate to see where they are and he, yeah. where, where the spooky sound is coming from. <laughs> and then she finds a corpse. She finds. Of a Cancun. <laughs> Cancun. 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 How do you do? I'm in a Cancun. Too true. And then a Cancun. <laughs> She's like, maybe this is what's making all the noise. And it's like. <laughs> No can do. It's not. It wasn't it was making all the noise. It's not. It's not. Y'all want to come in any time with a Cancun? Rain's destruction down the bottom. Please be Southern next campaign. Please. Uh, <laughs> Kiss oh. my grits. I'm trying to do a Southern accent. I can do Clay, and that's what it did. I'm so happy. Shit, I don't know who's following me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Only one. So it's not the corpse anyway. So she ends up still hearing the spooky voice again. Hello, <laughs> hello, hello. Ooh, oh my God. She realizes, oh my God, it's coming from the Ark Heart cart. It was that the whole time. So I guess there was some weird echo location thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> the <Mark> and <laughs> And so she goes back to the cart to, to protect it since it was there all alone and it's still there and it's fine. And basically this is a whole story about, 
you know, what is higher, it about higher, higher reality? Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 And, and, and enlightenment. So just, <coughs> just know Stand that your and mind, make man. yourself a better person. Know that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was amazing. Oh. Y'all, this is a Kanku. He's a bad a person. <laughs> I was trying to do you were. this. Slow thing, and that's what happened. Nice. It was amazing. It was Liam. Amazing. I love. I know that's not what you sound like. That. Not my specialty, guys. No, no, I'm into it. I'm into it. <laughs> I that was the best. Liam, am, who was the guy you were just doing? It was the guy, the oh, newscaster oh guy. The what? The, what? the wait, the guy who was on L.A. Old L.A. He was like, "Oh my God, look at over here." There was a oh, there was an old newscaster guy. I don't know. I think I, I um, just can think of Cal Worthington. Oh, no, I don't no, know. I'll look him up later. Tip of my tip of my tongue. <laughs> Come back to it. Oh, oh yes, oh, my I can hear him. Chaos. Chaos Actually, that reigns. Was Sorry, Matt. No. Chaos reigns. No, it was yeah. it was beautiful. And confusing in all the ways I hoped it would be at this point in I the am, story. This is better than I could have hoped for. I was, was really, so I was good. really worried it was going to just homogenize way too much by the time I got to the end. Like, I'm not going to lie, it's taken me this long to go after Ashley, and I've realized it's my favorite spot. <laughs> and I say that with absolute love. Oh no, You're my favorite person to follow. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Oh. Let's see what you got. Oh man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm already happy. Oh, oh boy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> yep. Oh. Dig deep. <laughs> Hello there. It's me, good. Caduceus Clay, or Southern for no particular reason. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I, I'm going to tell you. A story <laughs> Sounds like about me and some of my siblings uh, yeah. went out and had an adventure. Uh, I, well, my siblings did. It was uh, good. It was good. Calliope, Clarabel, and uh, Colin. And uh, I think I might have been there too. Maybe I wasn't. I don't. I don't remember. But um, anyway, they were. Uh, they were supposed to go on this this journey by taking. Uh, the Ark Heart uh, on a cart, which the Ark Heart is the, um, so it must have been a big cart. Uh, the Ark Heart cart to uh, somewhere deep in the Savalier Woods. And they, uh, Mega nerd they tries to rush it out. There and, and eventually they were in the spooky, spooky area and they were keeping it going and suddenly they hear this, this, this spooky sound that comes good, uh, through. Good eyebrow. Going, this is the highest hello, I've ever seen Caduceus. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, this you got really it. Spooky was more friendly, but anyway. Um, so uh, Calliope goes, well, that's that's not good. I gotta go ahead and figure out where that's coming from. You guys, you gotta stay back and, and watch the Arkhart cart. So she leaves the archive cart and goes on to investigate this spooky sound. After a while, she's not coming back. And uh, uh, then uh, man. Colin's like, well, if if she's been gone this long, I think. No oh boy, I right, Jim long, Carrey. Uh, she been gone this long. Make sure she's okay. So uh, yeah, hang back here. Claire Bell, and so then Colin leaves and mm -hmm. goes to inspect the same sound and hearing it going, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and so now Claire Bell there by the car with the art car, in the car. And uh, she's, she's sitting there wondering, hoping everyone's okay. And then so unhappy about eventually that. she, it's been too long. It's been too long and she's worried. And she goes, oh, I gotta find out. Oh, hopefully they're okay. Maybe they're dead. Maybe they got killed. I, I don't know. I gotta go figure it out. Um, so she goes and Travels and, and eventually uh, stumbles upon the, the corpse of a Kenku. Wow. Kenku. Um, Kenku. Uh, just a Kenku there. And, we got it. We got it. We, that's how we say Kenku is, from now on. Uh, Forever. Uh, hello, hello. Dallas PTA uh, vibes. Uh, hello. And uh, guess it's coming from the corpse. I can't believe it's a corpse of a Kenku. No, no, it's no, not. I can't believe it's just amazing. Never mind. It's a yeah, I love him. It's dead. It's not. Somewhere, his somewhere his else, she hears a hello, car. hello, car. hello, and, and and then she realizes that it's it's actually coming from the ark heart back in the cart. So uh, she returns, um, had some sort of weird echolocation 
thing <laughs> going out there. Uh, so she returns to the cart, uh, and uh, and that that's that's the story. You know? So it, it's about uh, it's about higher consciousness. It's all about yeah. the metaphysical uh, higher understanding uh-huh. of, of consciousness and what it and means to well apparently to fucking ditch your siblings in the middle of the forest before you complete the story. Um, wow. <laughs> so, so there you go. You learned a lesson from Southern Caduceus about oh, the metaphysical understanding of um, Carts. higher consciousness in the Arkhart cart. cart. Yeah, oh, it's, boy. Aliens. I am, Amazing. Oh my what a mess. <laughs> I am. Wow. What a mess. Got away from it. Yeah, yeah, we did. We lost the thread, guys. We lost yeah, the we thread. did. Mm. Hey, I don't think you ever were really. Still in it. I think I think I think <laughs> yeah. that thread got lost in like round three. It was just. Oh, yeah. Laura, Laura yeah. had it by one hand, and then just yeah. But like, we didn't just lose the thread. We picked up like multiple other threads, and then lost those along the way too. <laughs> there, yeah. there, there's a whole journey of loss. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This was no. this was designed to be a disaster. Listen, so. I didn't mean for Caduceus to be southern. It just started happening, and I was like, "Well, I can't go back now." So. No, oh, respect. Right. I commit. I'm respect. committing to the I, character. I feel like Matt. Whenever you introduce us to another Kenku character in the in the game, you have to say Kenku. 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 <laughs> yeah. Hi, my Way name's Simon. Kenku. My whole family's from the Kenku background. There's <laughs> <laughs> Mark. Someone, someone would have to say that, though. So, <laughs> oh, oh my goodness! God. Wow, so let's, that get, was brutal. Oh man, yeah. I am so excited to see Talisons again. Oh my yeah, god, I, 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 I can focus a little. bit I can more. understand. Yeah, I still yeah. feel like I haven't seen it yet. There's not a chance in <laughs> fuck I'll retain any of this. Nope. <laughs> Trying. Okay. Caduceus Clay here. I'm going to tell you a story about my siblings. So they're particularly spooky encounter they experienced. Cowboy yuck, yuck. Okay. Clarabelle, Colin, and Calliope Clay were carting the cadaver of a Cowboy. cleric of Corallon named Christoph Kazmar, Kazmar. through the Savalier Wood Christoph towards Kazmar. its resting place within the Blooming Grove Cemetery. Okay. As the Clays made their way beneath the canopy of crooked conifers, they couldn't <laughs> shake the feeling that they were being watched. Calliope halted the cart and confidently called out. A little bit of Rod Whoever Serling follows us in these woods, that show idea. yourself. Thank you. For Melora help you, I will defend this cleric charge to my care. Cleric? From the trees, a whispered <laughs> voice called out. We lost out. the cleric. <laughs> this is a shouting word. Calliope, <laughs> chair. <laughs> lacking, sprung into action. Ballpark. leaving her kin to guard their cargo. Albuquerque. Minutes passed, but no sign of Calliope. <laughs> Where's Making the cart, Colin though? Clarabelle nervous. Colin, who had seen his fair share of creepiness in his chosen occupation, immediately thought of the cleric in the cart. For Colin knew Corlon the Arkhart was known to these cleric. woods and cleric. could be calling to their own cleric's cold cadaver. Cleric! Colin bellowed, Arkhart, give me a sign so that I may be of service to you. A ghostly voice then called wow. back, Be of service. What? Hello. Colin dashed towards Hello. the woods, Hello. leaving Clarabelle. Hello! Hello! Clarabelle carefully considered the curious call. <laughs> Being the cleverest of all the clays, she contrived a game to confirm her theory. Mm-hmm. Strange voice, she said. Are you near or far? Near, called the whisper. Are you before <laughs> me or behind me? Mm-hmm. Before. Mm-hmm. Clarabelle walked cautiously into the woods. Oh. We are making it after. Or warm. Got all this after wrong. a brief stroll into the tree line, she heard <laughs> all of this warm. Warm. Didn't warm. get that right. <laughs> With the ancient bones Didn't survive. of a king yeah. Clarabelle called out to Colin Calliope, with the ghostly echo adding to her cattle wall. Talison's just Calliope asked, okay. How did you find them? In season Clarabelle explained, <laughs> Calliope, you only listen for danger. Colin, you listen for a sign. I simply heard someone who was lost. The three clays considered the Kenku corpse, what? causing it to bloom, <laughs> which in turn released its spirit. Considered. And that spirit still wanders the forest. I thought of consecrated later, Playfully copying you know. the oh, cries good. of nervous travelers who stray too deep into the Savalier Wood. <laughs> good luck, Laura. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Talison, 
Talison, you forgot the part that about it being all about a higher existence, man. Yeah. Yeah. I had to cut. Yeah. Higher learning, higher to be fair, higher, to be fair, I cut a paragraph. Consciousness, everything. Yeah, man. you totally I, I, forgot your accent too. I, yeah, I did. Accent go. This is hard to read, man. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what are you gonna do about this? Did Caduceus get a white Russian after that? <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Caduceus abides. <laughs> really. It's about a higher, higher, higher place, man. <laughs> uh, oh, where, where, where are you at, man? Oh, I would boy. love a shirt that says "Caduceus abides." Abides, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Caduceus abides. Yes. Caduceus yes. abides. <laughs> the tree really brings the room together. It's That's just, uh, pretty great. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Well oh, done, Talison. Wow, you have officially destroyed all of us. Thank you. I was really, um, I, man. I'm, I, I that that really went. More, I'm so happy with how that turned out. That was such a, <laughs> that was, so good. That yes. was such chaos. Yeah, your really, reaction yeah. there was exactly what we did to your Yes, story. yes. <laughs> that was it. That, 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 I'm happy. Yep. yep. <laughs> you really were a C word. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess we're at the point normally where we'd roll, but Travis, you're last. Yeah. Travis is last. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, did you think it's gonna be harder than that? No, do I think- don't. I think it's gonna go easy on us. I think he's gonna he's gonna do something interesting because he's he he he's, he's seen the good, he's seen the bad, and now he yeah. can do his own little he, he spin. He can take them both, yeah. and there will be some We're just, we're just careening off lie. into oblivion with these latest videos. Like there's just nothing left at the end. So we might as well just Reset back to zero. Make it simple. <laughs> Go back to basics. What do you say? Yeah. Oh. Travis is no 15 seconds long. K or C yeah. words and no goddamn German. Sorry, German. <laughs> <laughs> Just a list of Dallas Cowboy stats, maybe? Oh. 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 No. no. <laughs> Don't Go be boys. too early. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, oh yes. Ready. Wow. I'm going to start watching guys. Cowboys games. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> you, that won't help you. Too. That won't help you. <laughs> love you all. I'm love so sorry. Guys. Oh, Don't forget to amazing. enjoy the rest of your night. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, I hear it. Show. Actually, to be fair, I hear it. I hear a Southern There's a slight accent. draw. No, there's it's because there is a draw. Definitely not what I did. Yeah. No, but there is a draw in there. It's, there's a it's slow, never a, it's in there. It's a slow yeah. draw. And it's just part how of it. it came out when I did it yeah. was like this. <laughs> No, Which that's, that's not it. Totally yeah, that's some good. Oklahoma. North I Texas seriously stuff. love I, you yeah. with an accent, Ashley. Like, please make that your next. It was trip. actually please. it was really great. We can crimp yep. roll your no. hair, get you some high water jeans. Uh-huh. Yes, <laughs> Cancun. Cancun. <laughs> Cancun. Are we gonna go to Cancun over spring break? Uh-huh. <laughs> I think I see official pronunciation going yeah, forward. No, yeah. it's just y'all want to stop now. and get a Meanwhile, wang? You want to get a wang? Logan, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Go oh, and meet on them Tafa Lanes? Oh, <laughs> no. Thank you, Travis, for making me feel a little bit better about I'm with you. what I, heard I tried. It. I'm no, heard no. That's it. fair. You did good. You did uh, good. What a disaster. <laughs> what a disaster. A what a disaster. disaster. Glorious disaster. It's a good way to put it. Uh, we'll see you in two cheers, weeks for guys. more. Oh, see guys. you in two weeks. Mm. Love you guys. Love you guys. Bye.